Let's take a look at some of the terminology that we associate with number patterns. So if we just look at the pattern that's given here, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now, what you need to consider when you look at a pattern is to see whether there's something that is predictably happening each time the, pa the term number changes. So is there the same thing happening to get from 3 to 5 as there is to get from 5 to 7? And I'm sure that you can see that you are adding 2 each time to get to the next number. We call this number that we add the common difference in a pattern. Okay. So the 2 is the common difference. We refer to the terms of the pattern as the TN values and the position number of each term as the N value. So when we're talking about N in a pattern, we're talking about the position number. When we're talking about TN, we're talking about the term that is in that position. So for example, if I asked you what is T3, that means I'm looking for the value of the term in the third position. So position 1, position 2, position 3, the value of the third term is 7. Now, it is often useful to be able to find a formula that we can use to generate the terms of the pattern because if a question asks me to find, say, the 50th term of the pattern, it's going to be a lot of work for me to carry on the pattern and get all the way to 50. So we try to find a formula that we can use that if we know the position number of the term, we can then substitute it in to find the value of that term. And that formula for a pattern is known as the general term. And the general term, so in other words, if I want to know the value of the nth term, t of n, I need to find out what must I do to n in order to generate my pattern. Now, because this pattern had a common difference the first time we found the difference, we say that this pattern is a linear pattern. And that means that my variable in my pattern, my n value, is to the power of 1. So we immediately know if there's a common difference straight away that our n value is going to be to the power of 1. And because we are adding 2 each time, we are looking for the multiples of 2 in this pattern. So we need to multiply the n by whatever that common difference was. So if my common difference was 3, I would have multiplied n by 3 so that I generate multiples of 3. If my n was negative 5, I would have, if, sorry, if my difference was negative 5, I would multiply my n by negative 5 because that's the multiples of the pattern that I need. Now, if we just test, 2 times n, does it give us the tn values that we've got? 2 times 1 is not 3. 2 times 2 is not 5. 2 times 3 is not 7. But hopefully you can see that if you add 1 to twice the value of n, it does generate the pattern. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So that is the formula that generates the terms of this particular pattern. Okay, let's take a look now at some special patterns. The first special pattern that you need to be aware of is the pattern of square numbers, and that is literally just the pattern of squaring 1, squaring 2, squaring 3, etc., etc. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and we could carry on and on and on. So whenever you see a pattern that looks like this, just be aware that that is the pattern of square numbers. The pattern of cube numbers, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, and we could carry on with our cube numbers as well. The pattern of prime numbers, our prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by 1 and themselves. 1, however, is not a prime number, it's a special case, so the first prime number is 2, then 3. 4 is not a prime number because it's divisible by 2. 5 is a prime number. 6 is not a prime number because it's divisible by both 2 and 3. 7 is a prime number. 11 is the next one. And we could carry on as well, generating the list of prime numbers. And then the last pattern that we need to know about is the pattern of triangular numbers. And this is the one that might not be familiar to you. The triangular numbers are the numbers of form where if I make a triangle where the position number of the term is the number of um, dots that make up the base of the triangle. So position number one is its own, you can't make a triangle with only one dot. Position number two, you have two dots at the base, so to make a triangle you have one dot above it. To have three dots at the base, the next level will have two dots and the last level one dot. 
a four dot base will have three dots as the next level, then two, then one, and a five dot base will have four, then three, then two, then one. If we now just count the number of dots in each form the stage of the pattern, the first stage has only got one, the second stage has got three, the third stage has got um, th uh, three plus another three, which is six, the fourth stage has got 10, the fifth stage has got 15, and we could carry on and on. Okay, so if you just take another look at this, there's position one, position two, position three, position four, position five. To get from one term to the next, I'm actually adding the next position number. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. Six plus four is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. So that is how you can generate the pattern of triangular numbers without having to draw them out. You simply add the next position number to the previous term value and that will give you um, the next term of the sequence. Okay, if we have a look at some examples. Find the next three terms in the sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. We can see that those are the pattern of square numbers. So if these are my position numbers here, I need the next three. So I need position 6, 7, and 8. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. And 8 squared is 64. Number two, determine the general term of the sequence 8, 13, 18, 23. First, let's find out whether we add or subtract the same number to get each term of the pattern. 8 add 5 is 13, 13 add 5 is 18, 18 add 5 is 23. So that means that I need multiples of 5. 5 times 1, if we just look at our position numbers, 5 times 1 is not 8. We need to add 3 in order to get 8. Let's just check if it works for 13. 13 is in position number 2, 2 times 5 is 10, add 3 is 13. So our formula works. Number 3. If a pattern is given by Tn equals 1 minus n, determine T3, which is the value of the third term, and T100, which is the value of the 100th term. So to do that, we substitute in the value for n for the term that we're looking to find. 1 subtract 3 is negative 2, and 1 subtract 100 is negative 99. In your booklet, there are some examples for you to try, so please pause the video and try these on your own. Number one, the next three terms of the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, if we just fill in our position numbers here. Hopefully you recognize that this is a sequence of triangular numbers. So we are now looking for terms 7, 8, and 9. To get term 7 will be 21 add 7. 21 add 7 is 28. Then to get term 8 will be 28 plus 8, which is 36. And to get term 9 will be 36 plus 9, which is 40, um, 45. Okay, number 2. <clears throat> Determine the general term of the pattern 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. We need to be careful here because we're not adding a number each time. We're actually subtracting a number. And the number that is being subtracted is 2. So that means our general term has to go in multiples of negative 2. If we look at our position numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, if we multiply 1 by negative 2, we get negative 2. So we need to add 3 to get back to 1. Let's just check if it works for position number 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 add 3 is negative 1. So that is the correct general term. Number three, we are looking for T20 and T25, given the general term of the pattern, N plus 4. So term 20 will just be 20 plus 4, which is 24. And term 25 will be 25 plus 4, which is 29. And then number four, something a little bit different. Find D, the common difference for the pattern. Remember that the common difference is a term. Subtract the term that comes before it. So that gives us 3x plus 3 minus 2x minus 1. 3x minus 2x is x, and positive 3 subtract 1 is positive 2.